okay? How do we teach pump block? I'm in a loaded stance. We don't want any false steps. I'm gonna dip and rip away from whoever's blocking me. And we are a one hand block team. So I'm gonna dip and rip away from whoever's blocking me. How do I know who's blocking me? Okay, either your cadence, it's beautiful. Punt teams love to use colors. Red means they're gonna punt to the right, guys. And blue means they're gonna punt to the left. You got it? Red, brown. Orange means they're gonna roll out to the right. Imagine if the quarterback came up and said that every single play, right? So they're either gonna tell us or they're gonna point. Majority of the time, he's gonna point at who he's blocking. Okay, that guy's blocking me. Dip and rip away from him. It's not complicated, okay? Get to a direct angle of where the punt's gonna be blocked. The punter is gonna punt behind the shield. So get in a straight line to come as tight as you can off the shield. We want to block it with one hand because I can reach out further with one hand and if I go with two hands, I'm more likely to run into it. So I can reach out further and sooner with one hand and I can stay off the punter, okay? We want to reach out with that one hand, okay? just like you would teach with your defense, all right? You are going to mirror the hand or match the hand on defense when the quarterback's hand comes off the ball. So if I'm a defensive lineman, Right? And I'm right there to get a strip sack and his hand comes off the ball, I'm going to break the elbow and get the ball. All right? If I'm a defensive lineman and I can't get there to get the sack and his hand comes off the ball, what are you going to do? Put your hand up. Try and tip it. It's the same thing on punt block. So when the punter's knee comes back, I'm looking to shoot my hand to the ball. If the punter's knee comes back and I can't shoot my hand to his foot or shoot my hand to the ball, shoot your hand to the sky. See if you can tip it. Okay? It's the same thing we teach on defense. So here's how it should look. This is a great look. So this is a left-footed punter. We should block it on the front side with our left hand. Just keep it simple. Left-footed punter, use your left hand. Right-footed punter, use your right hand. Okay? That's how we teach it. So that's how it should look. His knee comes back, hand comes out, shoot it right hand to foot. Good look at it from the NFL. We teach it and we coach it off this drill. We punt volleyballs because it's easier to block a volleyball and it's easier to go rapid fire punting them. It's easier to punt it, it's easier to block it, guys' hands don't get hurt, we just met rapid fire punt volleyballs. So we'll teach it in a couple different ways. Split the shield. When we want to split a shield, we are shooting through the crease. If he's down low, we got to shoot and rip right over top of it. If he's up high, then we got to cut block him. Okay? Cut block him is probably not a legal term. We got to hit him in the belly button. So then the next time he does what? He goes low and then we go high and we block the punt. Okay? Hit him in the belly button. That's better PC. So here's a look at it. Okay? Go up over the top, shoot your inside hand. Same thing. All right? If we're splitting a shield, we'll do the same thing working on pop-ups. Okay? He's down low. We got air. Shoot your hand through the air. That's how it should look.